The world knows now Cecil the lion was different. He was a national treasure, cut down by a big game hunter, a dentist from Minnesota, who has since gone underground, while conservation and animal preservation have been thrust into the spotlight. Ironically, Cecil's death may have saved the research project that was monitoring him and other lions. Professor David McDonald joined VOA's hashtag program via Skype from Oxford, England. Three weeks ago, Andy Loveridge and myself, my colleague on this project, were thinking we were going to have to close down large parts of it because we couldn't afford to pay the salaries. Those people around the world, I think 11,000 of them now who've made donations, have turned that around for us. One of the many groups that has come to the Wildlife Conservation Unit's rescue, Thai Incorporated, makers of the iconic Beanie Baby. That's right, there will now be a Cecil Beanie Baby, and all proceeds will be directed back to the Conservation Unit in Oxford. In addition, some major airlines are now saying they will no longer transport hunting trophies. Raoul Dutois, a world-renowned conservationist, has dedicated his life to supporting rhino conservation. He joined the show hashtag as well via Skype and is concerned that the conservation and the conversation is leaving the people of Zimbabwe behind. So I can see many reasons why there needs to be more attention paid to, to wildlife management in this country and to the enforcement of regulations. But for the, for the average person on the street who's um, out, of, out of work and has, uh, is not seeing tourists, Zimbabwe's got very low tourist visitation apart from Victoria Falls, um, and uh, he's certainly not going to get any cuddly lion toys out of this. Um, they're asking, what is this all about? While many questions have arisen from the death of this beautiful and powerful animal, and legal action is now in progress against the hunting guide and possibly Dr. Palmer himself, one thing seems abundantly clear. Cecil the lion's legacy will reach far beyond the borders of any national park or any African nation. Cal Perry, Voice of America, Washington.